bro. <laughs> man. All right, man. I know I told y'all, y'all probably not going to see my face on this camera no more. Um, I, I didn't think y'all would. Like, I didn't think y'all would. And this is going to be the rawest video y'all probably going to see on this channel, bro. I was about to go to bed just now. And I just couldn't sleep because I was thinking about making this video. And I was like, man, I don't feel like editing right now. I don't feel like making stuff all professional. I'm going to still drop that type of video like that, like that probably tomorrow. But I just want to talk about the Nets really, really quickly. Um, it's working. It's working. Defensively, obviously, it still has its problems. It still has its struggles. We still wonder about that. But offensively, it's working. Now, really quickly, if you don't follow my Twitter, follow my Twitter. I'm very, 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 very active on my Twitter. Follow my Twitter. That's where you get all my live thoughts and all, I, all my live reactions and all that. But it's working. Um, even me, I wondered offensively, how the hell is this going to work? Like, offensively... Kyrie Irving was the number two option to Kevin Durant. It's no shame in that. It's Kevin Durant. Like, it's no shame in that. And now you're basically asking him to take a back seat, not midseason, but like five to ten games in, to James Harden, who's ball dominant, who likes to score. He led the league in scoring for like two, three consecutive years. How the hell is that going to ever work? Bro, it's working, and it's working to perfection, and it's working for ways that I didn't even think about. Chris Broussard said it, and he was completely right. James Harden is basically running – part-time six man as a strong point guard not strong point guard but as a point guard like his point guard skills right now are just like out of this world and he's done it, he's done it before but you surround him with the talent he has now bro it's insane you putting him around Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant bro that's insane and Kyrie Irving is running the two and he's running it probably second best, if not the best, in the league with Bradley Beal. And Kevin Durant is Kevin Durant. Now, defensively, they still have their struggles. But the only reason I still I feel optimistic about them defensively is, one, they can possibly get Andre Drummond, who, to me, can help fix all their problems. DeAndre, Drummond has, I mean, uh, DeAndre Jordan as a rim protector, he's older. He seems like his IQ is off. He's not the, he's not the answer, bro. He's, he's not the answer. I'm not saying Andre Drummond is like, you know, Rudy Gobert or anything like that, but he's a better fix or a better plug-in than DeAndre Jordan. So if you put DeAndre Jordan with Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, and Kevin Durant can stop playing center and all this weird stuff, and you put that core together with the stuff they already have, Joe Harris, um, Andre Robinson, that's going to help defensively. You already have Bruce Brown. Bro, who knows? Like, who, who knows? This is going to be a scary-ass team because nobody – Nobody can stop them offensively. And like I said, you got James Harden running part-time six-man. So when Kevin Durant and Kyrie are still out there, you take James Harden out. And then when Kevin, Kevin Durant and Kyrie come out, you put James Harden in with the bench. And you basically have the best six-man of all time, James Harden. Bro, that's scary. That's scary. And I... If y'all if y'all like these style of videos, I'm not gonna say I can't even promise y'all I'm gonna do this all the time. This is like a spur of the moment type of thing. I'm so excited, bro. I'm running off adrenaline because I can't sleep because I'm so excited about this game. If y'all like this style of video, man, like the video. Um, it's three minutes in, but it's it's just crazy, man. And I'm not gonna say they're gonna win the championship. I'm not even gonna say you know they can beat the Lakers yet. But I'll say this: if Anthony Davis, I, forget his injury. Hopefully he's okay. Pray for Anthony Davis. But if Anthony Davis continues to play how he was playing even before he got injured, because right this year, I know Lakers fan knows this because I've been seeing them talk about this. I think he's averaging like 21 or 22 and 8 or 9 or something like that. If he's not Anthony Davis of last year's playoffs or kind of reminiscent of the New Orleans Anthony Davis, and he's kind of like, you know, just lollygagging and not being the, the, the firepower they need, I don't know if you can beat the Nets because the Nets are going to put up 125 to 135 points per night. And you can't, you can't ask LeBron to do everything. He's 36 years old, and I know he's great. And to me, still playing some of his best basketball. But you're going to need Anthony Davis to beat New Orleans' Anthony Davis to beat that team. And that's the, the, defensively, they're going to be fine. They're great defensively. But if you can't match their firepower, it's going to be hard to beat them. Very hard. Even Joe Harris. People don't talk about him too much right now. Bro, if my memory serves correctly, and mind you, this is unedited, no research, this is spur of the moment. I think he's shooting like 50% from three right now. Dead ass. I think he's shooting like 50% from three right now. 
And he's going to continue to do that because he's getting the most butt naked, wide open, great looks with James Harden, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving on the same team. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And um, I'm not a Nets fan. People keep like hitting me on Twitter like, man, you new ass Nets fan. Bro, I'm not a Nets fan. If you've been following my channel long enough, you know why I have that Nets jersey on in the banner. D'Angelo Russell is my favorite player, and that's why I have that. I had that since he was a Net. I'm not a Nets fan, but hell, I might as well be. Goddamn, they winning all the time right now, and they have the perfect squad to possibly win a championship. So, whoo, it's tough. Um... If you guys like this video, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I got to say about the game. The game was crazy. And Chris Paul, I tweeted, and if y'all ain't follow me on Twitter, man, I tweeted this. I tweeted, Chris Paul has completely changed every single team he's been on. Every single team he's been on. He's reshaped the team. And I said that. I kind of turned the game off. But then I checked the score. I was like, damn, they coming back, turned it back on. Seeing James Harden boogieing on people and just going crazy. And I was like, damn, bro, he going off. Like, let me watch. And he ended up winning the thing. But I tweeted that. And then it's like I damn near jinxed him. But, bro, Chris Paul and the Suns, they're, they're solid, too. They just lost a tough game to a you know an outstanding-ass performance by James Harden. Tough one, man. Tough one. Um, like I said, man, if you guys like this video, like this video, I ain't going to stretch it out too much. Um, like I said, it was a spur of the moment type of thing. I am going to give you guys a lot more content. Um, man, great game, man. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys follow my social media sites. Do all that great stuff, guys. And until next time, as always, stay tuned.